Welcome to the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service Viticulture Video Series. This video will feature Blanc de Bois. Blanc de Bois is a hybrid white wine grape that's primarily grown in the Texas Gulf Coast, North Texas, and the Texas Hill Country region. Due to its high wine quality potential and disease resistance, Blanc de Bois has become the leading white wine grape variety grown in Texas. In 2019, there were approximately 230 bearing acres of Blanc de Bois and 70 non-bearing acres, making it the fourth most widely grown grape in the state. In the winery, Blanc de Bois has proven to be versatile. Table wines are aromatic with flavors often described as citrus and tropical fruit. Blanc de Bois is also made into sparkling wine as well as fortified dessert wines in styles similar to sherry in Madeira. Blanc de Bois' versatility and high wine quality potential make it a true asset to the Texas wine industry. Blanc de Bois was developed at the University of Florida and released in 1987. In the vineyard, Blanc de Bois is a vigorous grower and breaks bud relatively early compared to Black Spanish or Lenoir, the other predominant Pierce's disease tolerant grape grown in Texas. In this photo, you can see one lone Blanc de Bois vine planted in a Black Spanish vineyard. It has shoots that are a few inches long while the Black Spanish is still dormant. Blanc de Bois is a moderate producer and while some growers are able to consistently produce four to five tons of fruit per acre, the statewide average yield hovers around one and a half tons. The growth habit of Blanc de Bois is neither strongly upright nor strongly procumbent, making it suitable to training systems that facilitate upward or downward shoot positioning. Some growers utilize training systems with vertical shoot positioning, but this is generally only recommended on sites with low to moderate vigor. Because Blanc de Bois is an inherently vigorous variety, it is often grown on divided canopy systems, in particular the Watson system, named after longtime Blanc de Bois grower Jerry Watson. The Watson system is a high wire training system with bilateral cordons positioned at approximately five to six feet above the ground. Four foot wide V-shaped cross arms are used to support two pairs of parallel wires that are positioned at 12 and 24 inches from the cordon wire. The canopy is divided horizontally, increasing the potential for airflow through the fruiting zone and promoting better spray coverage as compared to single canopy or single curtain training systems. The Watson system also accommodates higher shoot densities than single curtain systems, resulting in a higher yield potential. A three-year study conducted in Texas reported a 52% higher yield in Blanc de Bois grown on the Watson system versus a midwire cordon system with VSP. An additional benefit reported for the Watson system is ease of harvest. Although the Watson system cannot be mechanically harvested with a conventional over-the-row harvester, the umbrella-shaped canopy allows pickers to work in the shade. The disadvantages of the Watson system include higher trellis costs, increased labor requirements for canopy management, and inability to harvest mechanically. In most cases, canopy management in the form of shoot positioning and thinning, leaf and lateral removal, and hedging or skirting the canopy are required to maintain an open canopy and promote air circulation. This is often crucial to prevent fungal disease infections of the fruit and leaves. Blanc de Bois is prone to fruit rot such as ripe rot, bitter rot, sour rot, and botrytis. This is most common in humid wet areas and years, especially if the fruit is left to hang for extended periods of time. 
Blanc de Bois is most often commercially harvested between 17 and 21 degrees bricks and typically does not accumulate higher soluble solids like vinifera grape varieties. When Blanc de Bois is left to hang for advanced maturity, it often rots, shells, or the acidity drops to unfavorable levels. While Blanc de Bois is not particularly prone to berry split, splitting can occur with rains near harvest. This necessitates quick action in the form of protectant sprays and or a rapid harvest. At maturity, Blanc de Bois fruit is often pale green to light yellow in color, but fully mature and sun exposed fruit can take on a golden hue. Blanc de Bois produces large berries and moderately large clusters of up to half a pound. With good fruit set, clusters can be compact, making them more prone to rot. However, many growers struggle with poor fruit set. A number of climatic and physiological factors are associated with fruit set in grapes, but the specific causes of poor fruit set in Blanc de Bois are unknown. Research at Texas A&M is currently underway to better understand this challenge. Blanc de Bois is most commonly grown as ungrafted vines or on its own roots, and until recently, grafted Blanc de Bois vines were not available. However, research conducted in Texas found that Blanc de Bois can benefit greatly from grafting when it's grown on alkaline soils. Own-rooted Blanc de Bois may be prone to micronutrient deficiency, which can lead to poor vine health, reduced yields, and lower fruit quality. Utilizing alkaline soil tolerant rootstocks such as 1103P or 5C may alleviate these problems. Blanc de Bois is also a relatively poor excluder of salts and may also benefit from grafting on sites where salinity is perceived to be a limitation. Although Blanc de Bois is Pierce's disease tolerant, it can carry the bacterium that causes Pierce's disease, and vines may occasionally show disease symptoms such as leaf scorch. While this is generally not of great concern, it is recommended not to interplant Blanc de Bois with Pierce's disease susceptible grape varieties since it may be a carrier of the disease. Blanc de Bois is resistant to powdery mildew, but it requires a disease prevention program to control other fungal diseases. Blanc de Bois is highly susceptible to anthracnose, and many growers apply a dormant lime sulfur spray to help control the disease. Blanc de Bois is also susceptible to downy mildew, black rot, as well as other fungal diseases such as grapevine trunk disease. Recent research in Texas has identified several viruses in Blanc de Bois, including red blotch and leaf roll virus. These diseases can cause symptoms such as leaf deformation and tattering, atypical leaf chlorosis, and persistent lateral shoots, often with abnormally small leaves. Since virus infected vines cannot be cured, it is highly recommended to purchase grapevines from a reputable source when planting. The most common insect pest of Blanc de Bois is grape berry moth. This moth emerges and begins to lay its eggs on fruit and flower clusters near berry set. Upon hatching, the larvae infest flower clusters and grape berries, resulting in a direct loss in yield and infestations near harvests can cause berry rot, which can reduce fruit quality. Research and experience show that timely insecticide applications can effectively control this pest. Blanc de Bois has a very short cropping cycle of approximately 115 to 125 days from bud break to harvest. In the most southerly areas of the state, Blanc de Bois ripens in June while further north, harvest takes place in July to as late as August. As a Pierce's disease tolerant wine grape with an extremely high wine quality potential, Blanc de Bois has found its home in Texas. For more information on Blanc de Bois, visit our website at winegrapes.com.
www.tamu.edu.